What's up, guys? Welcome to the Kyle Trask breakdown. The question that I want to answer is, is Kyle Trask an NFL starting quarterback? I'll figure out how to phrase that better. But I want to go over some housekeeping stuff, too. One, if you like these videos and you've learned some stuff, please consider subscribing. It's a super easy way to support the channel without uh, having to spend any money. So... Um, I'm changing the format of these a little bit. They will still be evaluation heavy, meaning we're going to talk about Kyle Trask. We're going to talk about, hey, the good things in his game, the bad things in his game. But I want to teach more. I want to teach more about the game. I want to teach more about schematics. I want to teach more about why I believe you can figure out if a guy is processing at a high level from his tape. Uh, I talk about processing a lot and how I believe that's the difference between good between quarterbacks who end up making it in the NFL and don't making it, but I think I've failed to really explain it at a high level, so I'm going to start that today. Um, the other thing is I've changed the format. We're now going to go good, bad, good, bad. We're going to rotate, alternate clips. There will probably be a few less clips because there is more teaching, and I don't want these videos to be like six hours. Um, so we'll see how this one goes. I'm really excited, to be honest. I'm really excited. I think it's going to, I think everyone's going to enjoy it more. I think if you're here on this channel, you're here to learn about these draft prospects, but also learn more about football. So I hope everyone enjoys. If you wouldn't mind commenting on this video specifically and saying whether or not you enjoy the new format, that'd be pretty awesome. So let's jump right into it. The first thing we've got is a good. Okay, so what I want you guys to, uh, I guess we can always look at the scoreboard shot. We're in the fourth quarter, about nine minutes left in the game. So the first thing to know is, hey, Texas A&M, they're in straight man, but it's kind of a combo man. So this is what I think is pretty cool and I think you guys will like. So you've got man-to-man -man here. We've got a bracket here, right? It's a double on pits uh, for obvious reasons. Okay, we've got man-to-man -man here. And then what they've got is they've got a little triangle deal here. What that means is if he goes in short, he'll take him. First guy vertical, he'll take. And then first guy out, he'll take. So it's kind of a combo. So anyways, you've got bracket to the field and you've got combo that can turn into a bracket depending on where these guys, these two specifically release, okay? So this play specifically, what they've got is they've got double slant to the field. When would you want to work double slant? You want to work it against a two shell. I mean, honestly, to be, to be frank, this isn't a terrible look. Um, you're going to get the bracket on pit, so he's going to drag these two. You got one on one out here, um, but they didn't, they didn't, this specific play, they're not going to look to the two side. What they've got is they've got like a little bit of a, we could call it in the stutter package. What you've got is you've got the bubble. They're going to try to influence one of these guys to jump the bubble, and then they're obviously going to try to hit the home run behind it. Really, it's just spot with a home run. Normally, what you see spot paired with is you see it's paired with more of a corner. I don't know if you guys can see my mouse, but let me draw that. What you normally see spot with is paired with a corner to where you get the levels here, one, two, and three. Instead, they're trying to really get a shot play. They're trying to get, um, I'll highlight it for you, they're trying to get this guy to jump. So make sure to keep eyes on this guy. And what I want you guys to see is Trask is going to influence him with pumping the bubble, which is a great read, and then he's going to go ahead and get vertical. So watch. Boom. Sorry, he didn't pump that bubble. I forgot. That's a different clip. Okay, so what you're going to see is here, just watch him. He's reading this guy. He sees that guy take the bubble. He's got one-on-one -on, -one on the shot play running by. Easy touchdown, okay? That's really, really good play design, and it's also great recognition to see that the outside guy jumped the bubble and then go ahead and just give your one-on-one -on -one a shot. That's as good as it gets, so we like that one. We're going to turn this thing off a loop. We're going to play clip once, okay? So let's jump to the next one. Now we got bad. Again, remember, we're going to change up. We're going to start to change up the way we're doing this. So first thing you know, A&M, they're just in your base quarters, right? Quarter, 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 quarter. You've got curl late to the flat. So I hate saying actually curl flat because in quarters it's really curl and then come up and tackle the flat. We've got mid hook and we've got curl. What they're trying to do here is what we call rip. Rip is when you reverse out, okay? So you can front out to the boot or you can reverse out. If you reverse out, we call it rip. So it's rip, same side, boot, meaning he's going to rip and it's going to be same side, right? As the boot, he's going to roll to the same side or as the action, he'll roll to the same side. Florida's just trying to get like a quick little shot play. They've got the over here to try to gobble up these two guys. They've got the corner here to try to gobble up these guys. And they're trying to work pits on a little uh, crosser to get vertical, okay? 
so what you guys can watch boom the one thing I want you to learn too this is a great clip of it is watch this safety and how hard he comes on run because quarters the safety defender is an, a run player so in quarters it's actually a great look to run play action run action against okay unfortunately what happens is Pitts is nowhere near open and the reason this is such a bad decision is because not only does he decide to throw it to a covered guy right but he also decides to throw it off of a terrible platform you need to take your eyes back here realize that this is covered and then come on man look at this back just wide open i think the back scores literally if you throw it to your running back here the back scores so that's just something we can't have that's a terrible decision and mechanics because it's just like let's not fade away from this let's not make this even harder if you're going to throw to a covered guy something that plays a factor in that as a quarterback is when you when you rep these plays in practice you just get so used on these like these like i don't want to say trick play but these one-time shot hits you get you get so accustomed to just throwing it back there and it's an easy touchdown against your scout squad that then sometimes those habits translate over into the game knowing that though just because you know that as a quarterback and you know just because i had done that you know in my not even relatively decent career but my career of playing quarterback just because you've done it doesn't then make it okay in a game right so we've got to evaluate it fairly here's another but now we're back to the good i actually like this format i'm already really liking it so what you guys see i got these two guys highlighted this is a man zone indicator. What I mean by that is you put the running back outside your tight end. So you got tight end here, right? And we're, uh, I should, should have drawn Y. I was just marking him. But you got your tight end there. You're back outside. If it's man to man, what they're going to do is they're going to send a, run, uh, a linebacker out there, right? You can see 32 working out there. That's how you know right away it's man to man. So that's why you see these teams... They do it in college, but they do it a lot in the NFL where they line that running back up outside and then they just motion him in right away. So watch, boom, motion him in right away because now that he follows, we know it's man-to-man, -man, okay? Georgia, they're just in cover one, right? So you're going to see, uh, let's go ahead and call him, okay, if I got safety down, nickel Sam, let's call it. We're going to get a mic, just mic plus A. So you got man-to-man -man here, man here, man here. You've got your one high deep, and then you've got the combination here. So you got man-to-man -man on pits. And then you've got the combination, meaning if the back goes this way, he'll take him, okay? If the back goes this way, he's going to take him. Does that make sense? So it's, I say does that make sense too much as well. But anyways, so it's combination, in and out. Think of it as you take him that way, I'll take him this way. Super easy stuff. So it's just cover one, okay? Boom, what they've got on is they've got on a great little pick, not a pick play, but a great little tight end running back combo. So to the field, they've got what we would call gator. Here, it's just a little shin in. I think it's probably supposed to be more of a post, and I think Pitts gets flat. And then you've got the back release on the bullet. This is great recognition and know that it's man-to-man. -man, know that I've got combination from a guy at the line of scrimmage. My running back's going to run right by him. So you can watch... Trash, just hold that guy. The thing that I really like about his eyes is you can tell he's putting his eyes on pits, which keeps the defense inside on him, and then it's just easy money. Okay, that's a great throw to me, but a really great catch. I, I was really impressed with number 20. I think Florida's got some good players, obviously. I think number 20 is a heck of a back out of the backfield. He's going to be a steal for somebody next year. I think he's going back next year. So you can see during his drop, I really like that he's keeping his eyes center, trying to hold the integrity and hold the shell of the defense, right? The integrity of the defense. Then gets outside and just throws a really good go ball. Not really a go ball, bullet. It's a bullet. Here we've got just a late throw. So this is, to me, also a missed read. But in addition, compounding the missed read, you also get the late throw. I'm sorry I'm like got my hands in my pockets. It is cold in my office. It is freezing cold. Should have worn a jacket. Um, again, right? Running back outside, linebacker comes with, what do we know? Hey, man, man, you guys see, here's a fun little thing for everybody to know. Uh, Patriots, Tampa Bay, wherever Tom Brady's been, they do this a lot. And when they bring him back in, his man checks always alert. He goes, alert, 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 alert. Or at least in New England, I hope you guys all remember hearing Tom Brady yell, alert, alert. Okay. We just got man coverage. This one's called cover one hole. So you got man, 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 man. Cover one is deep, and the hole player, when we say hole, it means an underneath defender 
who's rob essentially being a robber but because he comes from underneath we call it hole if it were to be a safety which we have a really good clip of but a safety dropping down we call it cover one robber so remember linebacker depth it's hole uh safety coming down it's robber so that's a one easy way to uh remember those the differences between cover one hole and cover one robber so here's the concept this is great because this is smash, which is just a hitch and a corner, okay? This is universal football. It's just a smash concept. Nothing too tough. To the field, they have triple slant. <laughs> now, I've never seen it, but, I mean, I've seen it in college. I shouldn't say I've never seen it. Uh, this is a tough concept. Honestly, I don't really know what you love triple slant against. I would assume the same things. Two, uh, if you really have man that you think you can beat one-on-one -on -one outside with, maybe. But So, for me, the issue here is against cover one specifically, we love corner routes. If we can get our guy to cross face and run a corner, unfortunately, 88 doesn't do a great job of really spray releasing and getting to the outside shoulder or dipping far inside and wrapping him. He doesn't do a good job. When I say spray release, what I mean is this outside release. When I say dip inside, it would be working inside and then working really hard to wrap this guy. What we really want to see probably is the spray release, then get vertical, and then make break to the corner. So I don't think Kyle gets to the right spot. So he starts his eyes to the corner, but he gets off it really early. To me, it needs to be a corner and then a throwaway. Instead, he works to the triple slant, and then he works late, and his receiver also stops running. It's just all around a really bad play, really poor decision, which is something that you, you hate to see and it doesn't give you faith that he's processing the information at hand really well. Um, so that's not great, okay? Now we got a little play action clip. I love this one. So, man, I can't tell you how much Florida got man, but they got a ton of man coverage. This is, again, we just got cover one. What you're going to see, the difference is 18 is really going to try to press here. I think 18 probably in all reality is in a combination on the back. Um with 38 or, or, you know, whoever that, whatever number that is. But we got man, 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 and then we got the cover one player, okay? The concept therein is great. They're going to send Pitts vertical. They're going to work a little speed out to try to hold some guys down. They've got a basic to the curl. I'm guessing Traska's progression here is just a pure progression. One, two, three, regardless of coverage. I'm guessing he alerts this, which just means, hey, if you get a bunch of people sinking back and you feel like that's out that out is open just take it uh this is great recognition and i tried to cut out <coughs> excuse me i tried to cut out all the 50 50 balls so all the footballs that he threw to trask where it was like hey man go get it or not trask uh pits i, I tried to cut all those out because that's not really a fair evaluation to me this one is a completion no matter who your tight end is so one two three ball up that to me is a perfect shot, right? Perfect drop in the bucket, great ball. You know, holds the safety with his eyes. So here's something that I want you guys to check out too. Watch how the center, center doesn't lose him all the way, but watch how this is kind of a pressurized throw here, right? This to me, like I know you guys are gonna say, hey, he's getting blocked still. When you're playing quarterback and you see color flash, what I mean is, hey, a different color jersey flash, you wreck it. You can somewhat feel that your center still has him, but boy, is it tough when you see color flash. This is a pressure throw. Uh, you can see also something I really like that he does is he, boom, right there, has his eyes down the middle and then gets outside and lets it rip. And that's just, I mean, honestly, guys, I, to me, that's just a great football. I know that Pitts is great, and you have to take that into, you have to factor that in as you're watching, but man, do I, I just think that's a special football right there too. I think it's a special, special throw. Right now we got cover one robber. Hey, what a great, what a great, great look because we just talked about it. We got man, 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 man. This safety is going high to be the cover one player and then now he's going to insert and be the robber. When you're a robber, you're really just looking at the quarterback's eyes. You're really just trying to see where this quarterback is going and then jump something, okay? What we've got here is we've got, really it's just a cat concept which just means four verticals. You've got verts, verts, verts. You, we got it. We love verticals against man coverage, especially against cover one. You love these outside verticals. Trask clearly chooses this as his best matchup, which is fine. I'm not going to fault him for thinking that's his best matchup. What I am going to fault him for is seeing clear press. So the defense at this point is one. 
you, if you want to rip shoulder go if you want to rip back shoulder you can but to me at this point the defense has ridden him so far to the sideline and he's got him so far off his track that they've won and we really need to be getting down to this back instead we force it and it almost turns into an interception Florida's going to complain that hey he was pressing him you know when the ball's in the air yada 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 this just has to be to your back at this point, bam, you've realized that they've won and we've got to get to our back. Instead, he fires it out there for no good reason. And the guy, I mean, eight almost makes a play on it. So that to me is not only a terrible ball, right? If you're going to throw it, throw back shoulder. But it's also just not the right decision at the, that point. This one is honestly my favorite clip. So this one's great. So what we've got is cover one hole, but it's with a combination. So look, it's man-to-man, 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 man-to-man. Cover one, right? Our safety. We've got the combination here, meaning, hey, if he goes this way, you take him. Okay? If he goes this way, you take him. If he doesn't, so if you're not locked in man, now you're the whole player and you'll drop underneath. I got this corner highlighted. I wish I could like touch the screen and show you guys. I have this corner highlighted because you can watch him anticipate the motion because Florida has run this play a ton. And let me show you. So watch. You see him already anticipating the motion? Hey, he knows he's coming, man. Watch. He anticipates it. Florida had run this play so much, which is just get inside, pick him, you go to the flat, and we're going to dump it to you real quick. They ran it so much that not only did one anticipate the motion, but then he anticipates the play, but guess what? It's what we would call the dick -em off of it, okay? So you got vertical. You've got vertical here. He's going to act as if he's trying to pick him. Boom. He's going to act as if he's going to the flat. He's going to stick step and get vertical, okay? What you guys need to watch, though, is it's great play design, but what makes this work is it's number one's job to beat him. It's Trask's job to beat the safety, meaning it's Trask's job to hold him in the middle of the field. You've got to keep him in the middle of the field with your eyes. Otherwise, he'll get over and make a play. So, boom. You see Trask? And then, granted, does it, is it nice to have a weapon like Pitts on the backside to move a safety to? Of course. Okay, but he does a great job of holding that safety, moving him just long enough to then get back to it. What I wanted, I want to watch it one more time because I want you guys to watch how good of a route this is by number one. I'm gonna slow mo it for you guys. Um, so look, you can see him sell this flat, boom, stick step and get. First. That's incredible stuff, guys. That is incredible stuff. Boom, stick step, get vertical. Okay, man, that's great. I love that. That's just a great play design. So you set it up all day. You work this concept all day. You get them to do it. But watch Trask. Watch his eyes. You see his eyes go to... You see him not only... Boom. Watch him push to pits right there. But then also locate the safety. So you can see him push his eyes to pits. Locate to make sure the safety's taking it. One hitch for good measure. And then get to your seam. I'll let it go in full motion so you guys can see it. But I just wanted to slow it down so you guys really saw... Why I feel like this was such a great play by him. Because at the end of the day, is it, it's an open seam, right? It's a, it, it, a lot of guys can throw to an open seam. So at the end of the day, it's hard to I, want to... I want to elaborate more and explain more why this open seam is more impressive than, say, just a normal open seam. I, and I hope that makes sense. And sometimes I feel like I don't really relay the information in a, in a good manner. But... Anyways, we've got cover three now from Texas A&M, which is just deep third, deep third, deep third. You've got a curl flat defender, which means he's going to play curl first. If someone's in the curl, he'll play him. If not, he's going to get down to the flat. You've got mid hook, mid hook, curl flat here, okay? The concept they've got is a great one. they got a little pistol, which is basic with a post, pistol. Then you've got at what they're probably calling X circus, which is a circus corner and a flat. The progression on this play is one, two, three to your back. You alert the quarters, meaning alert this post if you get quarters. Because if you get quarters, the safety will probably jump it and then you've got a one-on-one -on -one and you like that. It's not quarters, so we won't alert that. So he'll go here first. And then you really want to feel this, okay? What I mean by that is if you feel a bunch of sink, just dump it to him and let him make a play, especially on first and 10. What I want you guys to see, though, is this defender evacuates with... He evacuates with the back. 
And to me, it's like, okay, I can feel what he's feeling, but these eyes, to it, this, this eyes, they don't feel to me like they're bailing out of there, okay? So he gets to it, and I never want to fault. That's why this is a good slash bad. I never want to fault these guys for playing fast. But to me, when you feel that backer bail, you've got to get to your basic. This basic runner is not only open, but he's a touchdown. So again, is it a negative play? No, by no means is this a negative play. Would I love to see more of a feel from it? Yeah, 100% I'd love to see more of a feel from it, and that's what I think is disappointing. Okay, so now we've got just great recognition and we've got a drop for space that I just love. So what you've got here is you've got bracket to pits. They're gonna two on one pits for obvious reasons. You've got man, man, man. You've got strong safety on a sting. We would call it an inside sting because he's going to get hit more plus B than outside. And then you've got this, uh, you got the backside free safety pushing to lock him man to man. The concept they've got, they've just got a little grabber route here, meaning like deep over. Uh, you might hear it called like F cross, Y cross. He's just crossing the field. You've got a little ship to follow it. You've got an under. You've got an outside go in case you like the matchup with your back. And then you've got a little pivot. These guys are confused down here. They're going to end up switching, and he's going to end up going in here and manning, and he's going to end up manning out here, but it's nothing big. What I want you to do is I want you to watch him. I want you to watch uh, Trask. Recognize the sting. Know that this is his best option, and then watch him back out to create space and time to let that guy work, and then obviously throw a freaking dime. Nice little layer shot, which I love, man. That to me, so what I'm highlighting there is he glances back to the pivot to make sure to confirm that the bracket happened and that a guy didn't bail because the, the corner bailing out of the bracket would be the only thing that could take that cross away. So watch, as he backs out, you see him just quickly relocate. He's backing out, quick relocate, make sure the corner and that will linebacker stayed on the bracket and then go ahead and dump it with touch over the top of everybody for a little tutty. That's great stuff. So right here, we've just got, I mean, we've got what we've seen, but this is, this is two man with combo. So you've got man, man, man. You've got deep, deep, deep half, deep half. And then what you've got is a little triangle here. What I mean by that, and it's not even triangle, right? A little box. These two linebackers are gonna account for the tight end and the back. So if he were to go vertical right away, he'll take him. And then if he were to release this way, he'd run. If he were to cross face, he'll take him, right? If the back goes there, he'll take, it's just, they're reading this whole thing out. That looks hilarious with how many lines there are. But they're just reading this whole thing out, okay? What they've got is they've got a little shot play. This, they, we got a little stutter. This actually turns into a comeback. So it's a little stutter comeback out here. They're going to try to sell a little cross and then get vertical. And then they've got what they're going to try to stutter and then get vertical here. Unfortunately, Texas A&M just has a great defense dialed up against it. And this is clearly taken away, right? It's clearly taken away. To me, the only thing worth throwing would be this route out here to where he can stab and drag on the sideline and either make a catch or just sail to the coaches. It's first and 10. Unfortunately, what we decide to do is back out of it and just throw one down the middle of the field for an interception. What worries me even more, and I'm going to go back, is we're only up four points with 11 minutes left in this ballgame. So that worries me even more. Obviously, it's picked off and then ran back into great field position. So watch. Boom. You should locate that, hey, we didn't win here. And what we definitely shouldn't do is back up and then throw this off our back foot and just literally... Throw, I mean, it's just not great. It's really not great. So that one hurts. That one's, that's tough. Okay. I'm not sure if this is the last clip or second to last clip. But again, we got two man here. So man, 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 man. These guys have what's really called like more of a loop. So he's going to man the, he's going to press, but then play man on the guy behind the stack. And he's going to take the stack defender. Okay. They kind of mess up the sort and it ends up getting switched. Um, but not, nothing, nothing that's too big of a deal. What I want you to watch here is Trask. What you love against two man is this outbreaking route underneath and or the corner. Okay, you can hit the basic against it, but we really like these two routes. 
Trask gets to the right spot. One skip, boom. This covered pretty decent, but he gets bumped off his spot. What I love here is watch this pocket movement and dime to the basic. That's really good movement to me in the pocket, especially because a red flag for Trask has been, hey, his movement pattern. Can he move well enough to do this? So you see the one skip, boom, he moves off his spot, drives it. So that's where he's at. Great read and great throw. Okay, we covered this one. So all in all, I hope you guys like the new format. But the question was, is Kyle Trask an NFL starter? Because you have to ask that because that then depends where you're willing to take him, the price you're willing to pay for him. To me, Kyle Trask can be an NFL starter. But truthfully, what I see is that really great backup, the Kellen Clemens. And I don't mean it as an insult. I mean it as a guy who I think will get drafted to compete. But I think will carve out a great career being that number two who you're confident in can win football games but is also the guy who can help bring along young guys as he gets later in his career and, and so be it. So what I see is a guy who does have starter level, I want to say, you know, starter level ability and processing. He can do it. Just where I think he's going to end up is that career number two that an organization feels really good in. Um, and I don't mean that as an insult. I just mean that as that's what I see in his game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to comment. I'll release my updated rankings with everybody. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the new format. And then next week, I'm going to do Kellen Mond. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Guys, genuinely, I hope you've enjoyed all these breakdowns. I've been trying to um, do my best to just give you guys what I'm seeing and, and give you guys my perspective from the tape. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.